Hey everyone, welcome back to the Reptile Room. Have some news for you guys. I found a couple more basilisks after I legitimately two days after I made the basilisk video. We went to the Sin City Reptile Show and I was walking around. I kept hearing that there were a couple of uh, basilisks in the show. Looked around for quite a while and finally Scarlet's Primitive Pets table had a couple of little female basilisks. My wife and I were super happy to see them. I think we freaked them out a little bit when we were both just like, oh, female basilisks. Uh, so we got those, and so I've had them about a month now. Like I said, it's been, a, I got them probably two days after I made that video. They're doing excellent now. So they had, this is a pretty common problem with probably water dragons as well, but the basilisks that I have seen always tend to have some nose rub when they're babies. I, you know, from rubbing around on the the glass tanks or a screen lid or something, maybe just not having enough space. Uh, but over the last uh, over the last month, these babies are growing like weeds. Their nose rub is virtually gone. As you can see from a couple of those clips, at the beginning, their noses were a little bit darker, a little bit more black. Uh, that's just the nose rub. Um, the male basilisk, he actually had the same thing when, he, when we got him, and that was from a small pet store, and they had him in a little tiny tank for quite a long time, so he definitely rubbed his nose a lot. His was pretty bad, but you can look at him now, he's totally fine. In fact, he's just, he's intrigued that I'm in here talking about him. As you can see, there's one little girl right behind the big male. She's all the way back there. We did add a couple more, I did add a couple more uh, plants, hanging plants and whatnot. And when, when I was looking for plants, the one in the bottom is green and yellow. It's a pothos plant. Uh, I thought to myself, oh wow, they will blend right into this. They do. Uh, for after I put it in there a couple days, I didn't even see them. They, the little females, like to tuck themselves down inside the leaves, and they made a little little nest. I had to go poke around in there just to make sure they were in there. You know, they really, really like it. it makes them feel safe and secure. That's right where they go every single time. So we'll see as they get a little bit bigger. They're already growing like weeds, as I said. They're getting real chunky because I just try to keep as much food as I can in there. Yesterday I had the, their little food dish filled with dubias and super worms and it's all empty now. I watched the little females come run down the wood and they jump down into the bowl and they grab them and they book it right underneath the uh, dark side to, uh, to hide, I bet. I've also seen them hunt in here. I have not seen I did not release dubias in here on purpose, but they are they are hunting them down. They are finding them. I haven't fed them in a, I don't know, I haven't put fresh insects in there in a day or so. Uh, they finished them off yesterday, but this little female right here, she just hunted one down. 
So they are hunting in this enclosure and everything. Oh, it looks like the turtles moving around over there too. Maybe that's what spooked the uh, dubia out. Super cool. I'm not sure how, but it's great. And honestly, since I, I have upgraded the light on here to uh, the same one that was in Ronnie's, which you saw in another video, they have been out basking so much more. I have to imagine that it was pretty much on its last legs there. The turtle is out all the time. The little Reeves turtle that's in here, he likes to bask down in there. And I'm actually thinking about redoing another water dish in here. But ultimately, I'd like to do a much bigger enclosure, but I think that's gonna be a little bit down the road, but we'll get there. Okay, let me show you a couple other things that I've got going around the room. See, the plated lizard is out and about. She's let me pick her up a time or two. She's still going through shed. She eats a whole lot. I'm still trying to learn about this species. It's, there's not a lot of information out there on them. So we'll see if I can't learn a little bit more and document a little bit more. So if you guys want a plated lizard, you'll be able to keep one a little bit better. I want to redo the enclosure in here with a little bit more uh, substrate so that she feels more comfortable and can dig. She's just digging a ton in her little enclosure here. Not little, it's like six or seven square feet. She's doing real well, I'm real pleased with her. Caboose is still doing caboose things. I've used, as you've seen on my Instagram, uh, snake soup. <laughs> she likes to hang out in the water dish right now, so I've seen her ovulate. Hopefully that that, hopefully she lays eggs for us. That'd be super cool. Uh, this little monster tried to take a bite out of me today. I just reached in to see if I could find any eggs up there, but she's still She's getting back to her chunky size. I think she's gonna lay here soon. Did also see some uh, some eggs in the little albino too, so hopefully we get some from her. That'd be super cool. Speaking of eggs, there they are. They're still getting, doing, doing real well. And then here's our little baby gecko. Our first leopard gecko that we produced last year that we named Aruba, because that's where we were. Came back and the little monster had hatched. Changing up the colors again. Got Jane, he ate last night. Hopefully after Caboose lays the eggs, I will be able to put Jane back in with Caboose for a little while so that I can redo the enclosure here. I'd like to paint it black, replace the acrylic. Let's get over here. The ones you all really want to see. There's the male. And then right behind him is one of the females. Now, this one does not have a second set of blue dots going down her belly. The other one does, uh, but I think she is hidden right now. And then you can see the reeds. He's doing super good. Again, if you guys want some guppies, hit me up. I'll give you a good deal. Well, this enclosure is great. I really like it, but I want it to be bigger now. Ronnie's loving his new lights. The temperature seems to be pretty steady in there. He really likes it. His enclosure is due for an update. Again, any ideas, please let me know. What, what do you think I should do in here? I'm gonna have to dig out all this substrate because I hate the perlite in here. I didn't know there was so much perlite in the blend that I used and it looks terrible. It just looks plain terrible. So all of this substrate has to come out and it's all gonna go in my garden. He needs his food dish cleaned up today and also, would probably like some fresh greens again. Large salads every couple days, every day, whenever he wants to eat. Well, there's a couple more updates for you guys. 
We've got a lot of activity going on. We're gonna be collecting a lot more eggs out of the leopard geckos. Hopefully we have eggs out of Caboose, the ball python, the little plated lizard's doing, doing real well. Uh, we're gonna keep videoing a lot of stuff on her coming up here soon. Gotta start working with her a lot more while the rest of these animals are in uh, breeding mode and whatnot. Again, I'm gonna update this enclosure for Jane. He's actually, he might even wanna eat again. Fed him two days ago, he already looks like he's moving around a whole bunch once he eats. The first time he's eaten since the beginning of January? When they go into breeding season, usually the males will go off, both of them will go off food at a certain point in the breeding season. And that's when you wanna keep an eye on your male and make sure he doesn't get too thin. You don't wanna overbreed him. So as soon as I saw that he wasn't eating, I gave him another shot in with Caboose and then I thought I'd put him back in his own enclosure. Hopefully we will get the eggs to hatch here. Hopefully I'll be able to fill up this whole shelf with more eggs in the coming months or so. Shoot, I am expecting, I am expecting two more from the little gecko up here in the back. Those should be any time now, and in fact, she's, she's gonna hunt my finger. Here she comes. All right guys, well that's gonna do it for this week on the Reptile Room. Thanks for following along. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. We'll see you guys next week.